my gosh! <laughs> what? Hey guys and welcome back to another video and so this is going to be part 2 to how to catch a mullet DIY so we're heading out to McLaughlin's channel and we've waypointed this spot to away from everybody so we're nice and quiet and I've caught a few fish in this spot so I'll see you guys when we're there It's a giant, get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net So I'm going to measure this boy and we'll see how he is. Forty, 44 centimeters. That is a 44 centimeter flatty. And that is my PB flatty now. 44 centimeters. Whew. This is a massive fish on here. Oh, this is actually fighting actually hard. Oh, it's a skate. Banjo, I think. Yeah, it's a banjo. Ooh. So we just caught this massive banjo shark here. And what a beautiful fish it is. That was a hard fight. But luckily, he didn't stick to the bottom. And we just got on the shore before he did. So we gaffed him, picked him up. And now we've got him in the boat. I think it might be another banjo shark. A fighting like it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Two in a row. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to leave this. I got a fish on here. Yeah, he's on. I'm not sure. I think this is another skate. Dang. Yep, another banjo. There we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to rig this little midnight oil 4 inch little curl towel here. And so I'm going to use this for flatties. So as you can see, it's got little flaps here. And how to rig this is you pierce it through the top. Like that. Pull it out. Push it up onto the little ragged things, turn it around and then give it a little bit of slack and then just put that right down the middle just like that Alright, so this is the perfect lure for flatties here. So I'm just going to cast it out into the, the sea. And then we're going to see if we can catch the flatty. See. <laughs> I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> Hooked onto a lure. Oh my gosh, that's a big flatty. That's a big flatty. Look at that net. On the lure. Oh gosh, she's wrapped around. No, you're not. Oh, 
on that. Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh! Holy moly! Alright, so I just got this nice dusky flat in on this lure. This midnight oil 4 inch Z Man soft plastic curl tail. Whew! That was a nice bite, too. Woohoo! Alright, so I'm gonna measure this dusky now and see how big is the legal limit for these. Uh, 30, no, 28 centimeters. So, let's see. You can't go above 55 centimeters. This one is a 44 centimeters. Another 44 centimeter flatty. All right, so my dad, he just caught this massive flatty on this deep diving crankbait right here. I bought it from Kmart, and it's a beautiful bait. It goes right to the bottom of two meters. And dad was just lifting his bait up to clear water here. I saw the bait coming up, and then I just saw this massive flatty just come up and sweep it. Hoo-hoo, nice job. So from Kmart for about five bucks, we got this nice lure here. And as you can see, it's like little murky stuff. We've put actually Procure Super Gel mullet scent. And I've got this on my lure too. And this scent works beautifully. So we've got to take a measurement on this fish to see how big he is. 45, 45 centimeters. 45 centimeter flatty. Oh my gosh, it's up. Bring it over here. No, Dad, 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 wait, I have to find this. He was just sitting right in front and took it. I think he must keep, I'm not sure. Leave the rod there, that's all right. What? That is my biggest flatty ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? That's mad. Holy moly. On that midnight oil grub. Oh my gosh. I, I gotta get a measurement on this guy. I and we're throwing back. Yeah, if, he, if he's too big, I'll throw him back. If he's above 55 centimetres, we have to throw him back. If not, we can keep him, but we'll see. So I reckon I'm just going to measure him in here so he's not moving around. Alright, let's measure this boy. Or this big girl, whatever. From there to there. 65 centimetres. That is my biggest flatty I have ever caught. 65 centimeter flatty. Oh my gosh. I, I gotta hold this boy up as soon as I get this hook out. Yeah. I can't even get a wide enough angle. Hang on. That's it. Good job, man. That is sensational. 65 centimeter flatty.
Right, so this is my PB flatty, 65 centimeters. And this girl is a big breeder. She's probably bringing all half of the flatties that are in this spot right here. And this midnight oil, curl tail, four inch stock plastic is the best soft plastic. I've just hooked this monster girl, but now I'm gonna let her go. So slowly let her down, try not to damage her a lot. See, she's full of eggs in there. And now I'm just gonna let her go. Nice and easy. So at first, oh, I'm gonna put on again. At first, um, I just saw that just a big pile of dust just come up. And then I just saw this massive head just come over that lure and just engulf it. And then it took off and I just saw this massive body. Because at first I thought it was another banjo shark, but it wasn't. It was a massive flatty. Alright, so that's made me eat. I still adrenaline rushing over that flatty, but I can't get enough of it. This morning's been so good. So many flatties, and now I'm just gonna have to eat. All right, so we had an awesome day at McLaughlin today. Um, I had a little bit of a snooze in the car on the way home. That's why I might look a little bit tired. But um, Dad got up and he started filleting the banjo sharks and four big flatties here. And, but sadly, sadly, we had to keep four banjos because all four swallowed the hook. And this is the meat we got from them. You can see there, there's a lot of nice, good meat. And they'll, real, they'll be really good. And it was a real lot of fun pulling in that 65 centimeter flatty. But now I've got all these big, four big flatties here that will cook up and eat. But anyway, hope you liked the video, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.